Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for April 1st, April 5th, 2020. Please like and subscribe and I want to say thank you to all my current subscribers. Thank you so much. Also, there's going to be a full moon on April 7th, Tuesday. It's going to be a full pink moon. And so the challenge for April for your birth chart Aries and Cross Watchers is going to be for you to... to uh, to find your ascendant rising sign. So your ascendant is going to be the sign that was above your birth location, the highest point of, at your birth location at the time of your birth. So it rules the first house of your zodiac chart, which is a house of self. So that would be your physical appearance and stuff like that. So your sun sign is your soul purpose, your Venus sign is your love, and your moon sign is your feelings and your rising sign is your physical appearance which your physical appearance also decides like what you're going to do as a career and stuff like that as well because depending on the body type is you can how you will prosper while you're here on earth so that's a challenge for the month of april hopefully you guys downloaded your birth chart or have it on screenshot and can figure that out and then after you Figure that out, Google it, and read about it. Educate yourself a little about your ascendant sign, and go from there. So I shuffled the cards before I turn the camera on. And remember, there's no way this can connect to every single Aries out there, and the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. They're just energies, as well as if I'm talking about a card and applying it to you, and you feel like it more applies to somebody around you, then feel free to vice versa that as well. I just read the cards, you figure out where they may apply to your life, and who they may apply to. So I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you. And the first one that comes up for you, Aries, is one, resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. That is a good card. This came up for somebody else, too. I'm not sure who it was. I'd have to look and see, which I can't do right now, obviously. But, yeah, this is came up for somebody else. Oh, I don't know why I try and look at the book with one hand. Okay, here we go. It says, right now the benefits of being present outweigh the desire to create something or pursue a new endeavor. Be peaceful and take your time. Know that you will receive guidance about when to start a new chapter in your life. If you become impatient or want to push to create what you desire, redirect your attention to leisure activities. Find ways to occupy yourself so you can regain your sense of self and find the gifts in the process at hand. The turtles in this card represent inner power and the ability of the human spirit to overcome any difficulty. This card is about knowing that you can bear life's obstacles by drawing upon your inner strength and self-belief. It is a time to combine determination and resolve with your fundamental consciousness and inner peace. Perhaps you have forgotten these traits exist within you. Regain your focus. Demonstrate composure and maturity through the choices you make. Okay, so the next one that comes out for you is number five, change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape-shifting or your soul's evolution. It is a time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. That's nice. Life can quickly change direction. Remember to remain flexible as this will enable you to move gracefully in the, through change. This card indicates transformation and a pivotal point in your life. With new options become possible and move into your awareness. Change is not, like, not only likely to happen, it is certain to happen in it, next to no time. Your transformation will be personal and may require you to step into a new and unfamiliar path. You may need to alter your present course and move things to an unfamiliar direction or turn things around to ensure you are creating the right outcomes in your life. This phase calls for perseverance and faith. Be open to and willing to seek out new possibilities. This is a butterfly fish, is what this is. They are a symbol for change, the soul, creativity, freedom, joy, and color. 
So you have one and five, if that means anything. And so far we're kind of seeing a pattern with the yellow and the blue. And yellow would be your solar plexus chakra. And blue is your throat chakra. So then we move to 19, polite declaration. You can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. So I've noticed all these are talking about change, all three of them. So something is changing in your life. Um, if you add these numbers, they would break down to a 10, and a 10 is when something ends, so something new can come in. But you might not want to break the numbers down. Some people don't, I understand. Just Okay, so here's what it says, polite declaration. Assert yourself, be bold, and look after yourself. Be confident when expressing your needs and desires. Otherwise, you will not get your way. You need to have faith in yourself and fundamentally know who you are and what you stand for. When you champion yourself, it is important that you communicate your positive and negative feelings in a respectful manner. It is essential to speak your needs, but not to leave the other person feeling diminished or fearful. Make sure you are clear about what your needs or wants are in this exchange. Your needs, wants, and goals are no less valid than those of others. Reflect on how you address communication. Assert yourself, raise your voice, and enhance the respect in your relationships. And this is a crab. Crabs can move in all directions. So you have change direction with ease and change. So all these cards says something in your life is going to change, Aries. And I know that probably is a little scary to some people. But don't be scared. So now we're going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. Two of Sky. So this is you trying to make a decision. And I feel like... Things have been complacent in your life maybe for a while because these flags are ripped and torn and the cloud looks and the moon looks like they're way far back. So I feel like something from the past may be present in your thinking process or your life today and you're kind of contemplating how to handle it, how to deal with it. The chariot. This is change. This is change coming real fast, Aries. I don't know what's going on in your life, but this is change. Fast communication, a new direction, a new start, a new beginning. I feel like a lot of you are ready for it. Some of you are scared, but some of you are ready for it. So, sea kitten. So, this is somebody coming in that is emotionally balanced. I feel like somebody new coming into your life is what I feel. And they're emotionally balanced, so I don't know if you're trying to get your emotions in balance, possibly from the change coming. It could alter you, but that card says you're going to be able to balance yourself. So this is Six of Earth. This is somebody being generous to you, or you being generous to somebody else. So you're helping somebody, or somebody's helping you. And kudos to people who help other people. The wheel. So this is something changing. This is change, change, change all over this. This is already so powerful in just these few cards. So this is you completed some sort of life cycle and you're moving into a new life cycle. And the new life cycle is going to be more prosperous and beneficial and happier times than what you're moving from. So, Eight of Fire. So, Eight of Fire is somebody getting blamed for something they didn't do. So, you can see this cat down here is roughing up this rug, and I guess he's going to run off, and these two other cats are going to get blamed. So, I don't know if you're blaming somebody else for something, or there's some sort of blame game going on there with you and other people, somebody else. Just be aware of it, Aries. So this is for of Earth. To me, this is somebody who takes from others and they don't give back. They just take, take, take. They will take as much as they can get and they'll pile it in their little reserve, wherever that may be. And I'm talking feelings. Somebody takes somebody's feelings. They take somebody's strength. They take from other people. And they don't have any qualms about it, so to speak. It, it is nothing off their back to take as much as they want from other people. So the priestess, this is beautiful. This is somebody who is healed from past hurts. This is somebody who has an abundance of clarity. Their thinking is clear, they're honest, their thoughts are pure, 
And this is somebody who has also protected. We're all protected by the divine, but this person is is just protected. So three of Earth is my coworkers card. So this is coworkers. I feel like there's some gossip going on at work. Um, people talking about other people, and I don't understand that energy. It's like, why do people talk about other people? Because they're jealous? Because they're hurt? I don't understand it. When people continue to keep things going that have ended a long time ago. So then you have Six of Fire. Again, this is my selfish card. This is somebody who takes from other people. And people... I feel like are almost misled by this person. They they think this person is what they say they are. And I feel like they're being misled. So the next one is Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth is you moving into your future and there's things that you're looking you don't want to take into the future with you. So there's either friends, people, things you're going to leave in the past when you make your move forward. You're not taking everything with you in your future. So Sky Kitten. So Sky Kitten is immaturity. So this is a couple things. It could be annoying immaturity where people are acting childish and immature or it could be happy-go-lucky immaturity. That they're so happy like when you're in love you just be goofy, you skip and you dance in the rain. It could be either or that kind of energy. So I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. And this is Six of Coins. So this is Karma. So I feel like some of you Aries have put good karma out into the world and it's going to come back to you is what I'm picking up here. And it's intuition. So some of you kind of know it may be coming to you. Or when it comes, you know why it's coming. So this is Two of Cups. This is somebody who thinks you're beautiful. They have an attraction to you. They want to date you. They adore you. So King of Coins. This is somebody coming forward to offer you stability and security, Aries. So this person has a big coin. He's good at bringing the coins. He's creative. He could be an entrepreneur. He's grounded. He's happy. So I'm curious to see what other cards come up because I feel like I already know what other cards are coming up. So this is Seven of Coins. This is you having to make a decision about something in your life. Either it's a person or a situation that you are kind of analyzing and figuring out how to handle it and how to move forward with it. And it's your crown chakra, so I feel like it has something to do with the divine. They're making you either aware of something or they're pointing out something to you. So Seven of Wands. This is a couple things. This could be opportunities that you have around you to date or opportunities for work or opportunities for lots of things. I feel like you have a lot of opportunities. I also feel like somebody's thinking process is holding them back. There's one certain thing they can't move beyond their thinking pattern to help them move forward. So Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands is somebody who's honest I feel like an opportunity is around you. I also pointed out the stag is in this picture, the butterfly, so it could be a new beginning. But this person is protected from the divine. I'm getting that a lot. So where else did I get that this? So this is somebody who is honest, clear thinking. They're very clear with their words, how they speak to other people. And they're just honest and yeah, I don't know if there's something surrounding this person that is honest. I'm feeling... So, there's a lot of crown chakra in here, which would be a lot of the divine coming into your a situation. There's another crown chakra card, King of Swords. So, this is somebody spying on somebody. This is somebody being in somebody else's business, getting nosy in their information, trying to cause problems. And shame on whoever's doing that. I don't know why people bring negative energy and try and influence other people. That's wrong. And look at this. 
You have so much crown chakra here, I just can't even believe it. So the universe is aware of what's going on. The King of Wands is, again, somebody who I feel like somebody, he could be an entrepreneur, he could be, he has a lot of thoughts. And this tells me somebody is trying to, like, derail somebody. Somebody is causing, they're putting, I feel like they're gossiping. They're putting thoughts into other people's heads about somebody. And that's wrong. You have one, two, three, four, five crown chakra cards so far. That's pretty serious. The universe is trying to make you aware of what you're doing, Aries. So this is Eight of Swords. So this is somebody who self-blames and self-sabotage. And where else was this? And this is somebody blaming. So there's something going on with gossip and blaming around you, Aries. Seriously, this is somebody almost being vindictive, self-sabotage, hurtful. That is just wrong. I don't understand that energy. So the next one is Queen of Cups. So here you go. This is a queen who is honest. She will say honesty out of her mouth. She doesn't mince words. She doesn't play around with people's emotions. She says things honestly to a fault she doesn't play around and I feel like somebody is trying to cause problems for this Queen of Cups somebody is jealous of somebody's honesty maybe somebody's well-being in their life I'm picking up jealousy here that somebody is trying to cause problems I feel like it's a female for another female and that's just wrong so then you have Knight of Coins wow so this is the throat chakra this is somebody coming forward to say something. I feel like they could be offering you something. But this is somebody coming forward with a chokra, throat chakra who is honest. And they have a lot to offer. And somebody is trying to derail that. I'm not sure why. King of Cups. I cannot believe you have all the kings in here, Aries. Oh my goodness, so there's a lot going on here. I cannot believe it. I shuffled these cards so long too. Okay, so you guys got a lot going on here. So first of all, King of Coins, Stability, um, Security. Then you have the King of Swords. This would be spying and trying to cause problems for somebody else in their life, which why people do that, I don't know. King of Wands is gossip and somebody putting false words out there about somebody else. I don't understand why this is going on. And then King of Cups. This is somebody who I feel like may have been your friend in the past, may have been a person you had a relationship with in the past, and something happened to where you have turned on this person and you are angry. I pick it up. Jealousy, angry. I feel like Either it's because they didn't take you forward into their prosperous life with them, or you didn't... I don't... I'm not getting it. I'm just getting a lot of negative vibrations. And for all the kings to come out, that's pretty heavy. And then the Knight of Coins. I feel like you're trying to mess with this person's coins. I really do. You're trying to cause problems. Feel free to vice versa energies if this is happening to you. But, yeah, I, I don't understand it. With everything going on, somebody's out there trying to cause problems for somebody else. So this is Six of Swords. Six of Swords is somebody trying to cause problems. They're being vindictive, they're being jealous, they're being not nice. And somebody is going to, somebody's aware of this because this is the intuition chakra. Somebody's aware of the negative energy you're putting out there about them, and they are moving away from that as fast as they can. You'll never get the opportunity to have this person in your life again because of what you are doing right now, Aries. That's, that's shocking. I do, I'm so confused as to why you're doing this. So then you have Nine of Coins. So this is somebody who is stable. They're smart with their coins. They put money away for savings. They plan ahead for their future. So I don't know if this is why you're jealous because this is person has planned their life accordingly and it's going better than yours, so to speak. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of... Somebody has security and somebody doesn't and it's making somebody 
unbalanced. So strength. So somebody has strength to overcome this negativity. And this could be a Leo. So this could be a Leo in your birth chart or you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be trying to derail a Leo. So this is the High Priestess. This is beautiful. The High Priestess is somebody who is wise, somebody who can control their emotions. They they do things in life to benefit everybody. They're not just about themselves. They're aware. They're more, the High Priestess is more aware of people's emotions. Like people, you can't trick a High Priestess basically. If you're putting negative energy out and you think the High Priestess doesn't know, you're kidding yourself. It will come back to the High Priestess somehow, some way, whether somebody's going to tell her or it's going to come back to her. It's going to come back full, full circle. Again, it goes with this one. And this one. These three. I mean, a high priestess, you're messing with somebody who has clarity, who is protected, and has intuition. And it's shocking that you're not aware of this. You're, you're not aware of it. I just don't get it. I'm kind of getting it, but I'm not going to say what is going on. So this is Six of Wands. Somebody's going to have victory and success over gossip, over jealous intentions. So somebody's putting jealous and negative energy out to somebody else. And I don't understand why, but the person you're putting it against is going to have victory and success over you and your negative energy. The Emperor, oh my goodness, so here we go. So the Emperor is somebody who has a boss-like attitude, somebody who can hold their own, somebody who's lived life, who can, the Emperor can walk away from negativity, they can cut somebody out of their life fast, and maybe that's what's going on, maybe that's why the jealousy is here. The Emperor is honest, he doesn't say anything, and he's very empowered it speaks for itself he's learned from his life choices and when he finds people cross him or negative or trying to cause problems the emperor walks away there's no looking back you will never get another chance with this emperor again or the high priestess Aries ever they will never look back you burned that bridge so to speak I'm just shocked so this is ace of swords this is Somebody saying, okay, you, you, I feel like somebody threatened somebody's identity because this is identity chakra and somebody will cut somebody out. So I feel like there's a lot of negative energies where I'm picking up a female who's put negative energy towards another female and the female who is getting the negative energy put towards her is honest and very, lives life fair and equal and she will cut out which is less than or trying to harm her so somebody's going to cut it out so I'm going to switch to the soul's journey lesson cards now and you have judgment how I can't even believe how these cards play out I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so this is healing and you see the black in there I feel like somebody is really trying to cause problems for somebody else and judgment is going to come back to you judgment is going to be yours don't think it's not going to it's the healing and I mean where's that card so look at this the Queen of Cups has healing around her so you're trying to mess with somebody who you're not going to be able to penetrate or cause problems in their life and I just am confused judgment is going to come down on whoever for from the universe I feel like somebody's going to learn a valuable lesson about gossip and causing problems for other people. And it's going to be pretty negative. And they should have known this was going to play out this way, but for some reason they didn't. So humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So the other person is just, who's getting the negativity put on them, they're going to deflect that negativity and this is healing and this is love so this person has a lot of love and a lot of honesty the Buddha in the middle says a lot right there 
they're going to deflect that negative energy is not going to affect them at all. So now I'll filter to Fantasy Cat's Oracle card for you and you have running. So somebody's busy running trying to cause problems for everyone else is what this says to me. Somebody is busy, busy, busy and they're on the wheel. They're just going around and around in circles trying to cause problems for somebody else. And I see the green in there, the chakra, jealousy. And then you have dreaming. So a full moon is getting ready to come out on the 7th. I feel like you should pay attention to your dreams because you could be getting downloaded. But I also am feeling like the person that you are trying to derail has had dreams about you derailing them. And if you don't believe that, I don't know what to say. It's right here in the cards. I'm telling you this person is aware of what you're trying to do to them. And I try to point out karma. I try to point out how the divine protects certain people. And it's it's like it goes on deaf ears. People don't listen. I don't understand it. So thank you for coming, Aries. Thank you to all my subscribers. I am very happy with all the subscribers, all the views. So this started out really positive and then it got kind of heavy. But I feel like the divine is trying to point out to somebody their downfall, their negative aspects, and they bring it on themselves in their life, and I don't even know what to say. You're, hopefully the change means you're going to learn what you're doing, and you're not going to do that out anymore. If you put negative karma out there, try to put it against other people, it's going to come back to you. So this was a heavy reading. I hope this... Uh, resonates with some of you people out there. Thank you so much.